Hi everybody, I am popping on tonight to show you one of the ways that I use my napkins. Um, I use them in all sorts of different ways, but I'm going to come on and show you how I made um, a wall hanging yesterday. First of all, okay, I want to tell you I've got a case of some missing fabric. Um, the lovely Amanda Hardy sent me a random act of kindness yesterday. Beautiful fabrics in it, she had all gorgeous sorts of things. Um, Inside it there was a tapestry fabric, that's what I call it, it was like a thick, a really antique, heavy, thick braid, about that thick. And I opened the partial down the stair and I showed my husband it, showed him the beautiful fabric, I brought everything up the stair and I'd done the video. I don't know why I didn't notice that I didn't film the tapestry fabric, I don't know if it's because I'd already opened it and I'd seen it and I just, I don't know, I, I, I just never noticed that it was missing. Not until today when Amanda messaged me and says, was the, was the, she did, I can't remember what she called, but she didn't call it tapestry, she called it something else. Was that in the partial? And I was like, yes. What on earth have I done with it? Where is it? So I checked the video. No, wasn't in the video. I said to my husband, he was like, I said, I definitely showed you. I had it. And he's like, I remember, I remember what it looks like. I don't know what it is. And I only came from down the stair to up the stairs. Um, into my craft room and it's gone. I don't know what I've done yet. Now, down the stairs is an absolute tip. Well, it's not a tip, but it's a tip for me. I'm used to having everything in its place and a place for everything. But my daughter's staying with us just now while well, she moves into a new house and she's all of us, all of her clothes and bags and all my grandson Rory's, all his stuff's down there. So I don't know if I've dropped it and it's went into something or it's in my craft room. Everything in my craft room's pulled out as well because it's all getting taken down off shelves and all getting moved out because my craft room's getting rebuilt. But I can't find it. I cannot find it. I will because it can't it can't go anywhere. It's only got to be in these rooms. So I will definitely find it, Amanda, and I really apologise for that. I absolutely loved it. Um it's beautiful. I've actually got quite a few plans in it. There's definitely I want to make a tag with it and I'd like to bind the back of a journal with it. But I'll have to find it first. So that's a mystery. I don't know whether it's because she sent me um, Sherlock Holmes cards in the partial. I know he was a murder detective. But maybe it's just it's rubbed off and it's a mystery. I don't know. But I'm sorry Amanda. I do apologise. And I will come across it. And when I do, I will bring it on and show you guys. Now, what I made last night was this wall hanging. It's, I absolutely love it. I'm going to put it down behind my front door. It's got some black lace on the bottom. It's got some beautiful purple ribbon, bling. It's got crochet flowers, the Dawn Bibby bling. Three different kinds of napkins on here. It's got two different flowers. Um, the lovely Sue sent me these paper flowers. More fabric and bling. And then these napkins. Now the napkins that I used were this one from clear so that is what it looks like on the napkin that's obviously what's left of it and that is what it looks like on the wall hanging so i think it just looks absolutely gorgeous and then for all the color round about i used the rainbow napkin that claire sent me so i think it just turned out gorgeous I love, 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 love it. It's not my usual style, but I just think it's so nice. And I signed it and dated it on the back. And that is going to be hung up down the stairs. So it's all Mod Podge and everything. It's all sealed. Now, this is just one way of using your napkins. Obviously, there is tons of ways. And everybody's got their own ways of doing things. Um, this is just the way I do it. And I do do different... I do do... <laughs> I always say that. I do have different techniques that I use if I'm making tags or... Um, using um decoupage paper and things like that but this is what this is a technique that i used to make my wall hanging last night so what i'm going to do is pause you tip you down so you can see my desk what i'm doing and then i will come back okay so i know this isn't the best angle guys and i do apologize for that um when my craft room is complete i will have a new way of filming so it will be a lot better than this but if you can see my desk just about then that will just have to do it tonight, I'm afraid. Um, you'll be able to see what I'm doing now. So basically what I'm going to do is use two napkins this time. And I'm using this one that I got from lovely Christine. Which is absolutely, I love it. It's beautiful, that one. And this one that I got from the lovely Kim Ford. 
So that one. So I'm using this one as a bit of a filler because this one is my main image. And then I'm going to use a piece of the mount board from Tammy. <coughs> so thank you, Tammy. So let's get started. So the napkin. What you have to do is open it up. Now this one has four images on it, all the same. So obviously I just want one. So I want to be careful and not tear it because I want to keep the other three. So what I'm going to do is just take my scissors, carefully cut down the center. You do be careful when you're doing this because they are quite, they're not delicate, but they are quite easily torn. So I'm just cutting out this one. Okay, okay, so I've got that, and then I will keep the other three for another three projects. So I've got this one. Now I don't know what ply this is because it didn't come in a paper, but we will find out together. Now the ply means the amount of layers that's on it. So let's find out. And you need to separate the back layers, the white layers, from the front printed layer. Because if you didn't, when you go to stick it down, the layers will separate. So there's one layer. And I can see this is a three ply. So it's a good quality napkin. Not that it matters for us because we're taking the plies apart. But obviously if you're doing it for a dinner party or you're using your napkins to soak up things, the better, the, the higher the ply, the better quality the napkin. Although I don't really think it matters because you're going to throw them in the bin anyway. The ones that you use at parties. So, there is our beautiful image. You can see now it is wafer thin. And you can actually see through at the back now the image. So that is that. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to open it out. I think this one may be a two ply. Now I'm going to use two parts of this. I don't know if I'll need it all, but I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, okay. Just put that aside just now. And then let's separate the ply on this one. It's really easy to do because they come apart, they're not stuck together or anything, they're just placed together. Yeah, this is a two ply, this one, so we just take the back off of that. And then we have this. Now, I brought these to the side and bring in my canvas. At this point, there is loads of different techniques. Like I say, this is just the one that I used last night. Um, everybody, I will probably get people coming on and telling me they do it different, which is great because I'm always looking for new ways to do it. Um, like I said, this is just the one that I'm using just now. So I use a paintbrush um, and I use I try and use quite a flat one, quite a wide one. So these are the two that I always use. I've got this one and I've got this one. But what I do, that the paintbrushes are for the Mod Podge and I will show you that in a wee second. But the first thing that I do is I use a Pritt stick. One, I think it saves your Mod Podge, and two, I just think it gives you a really good adhesion with your napkin when you first put it down. So, I just place it all the way over the area that I'm working on. And this is just an ordinary pit stick. Nothing special. So just making sure that I cover all the areas, and it doesn't matter if you get wee lumps of glue, because you're going to cover all this anyway. Okay, okay. So that's all covered. And then what we're going to start doing is tearing pieces from this napkin. Now, I just do it random. It's like doing, um, what do you call it, paper mashy. You're building up your layers. So I just tear it off. And it doesn't matter how big or small you tear them off. Because you can layer them on top of each other. 
and you just keep one and bold it up and bold it up like so obviously if you were looking for a specific pattern you would put it on, down in a specific way um, but for this project I don't want it in a specific pattern I just want this as a filler in the background so I just hang it all over the edge because that gets trimmed at the end anyway once it's all dry Hang on, put that on there and you'll see this is why I like the Pritt stick because it's a lot drier than the Mod Podge and it's an instant grip as well and it doesn't soak through the napkin at this point so I really do find it a lot easier to work with than the Mod Podge at this stage like I said a lot of people might not they might find it easier to work with the Mod Podge but I really like doing it this way so I'm just adding in a big piece there and then what did I do? Is that I used the two pieces of that? It is, so I'm glad I had. Is it? Did I use it? Is, so I'm going to separate. This is because this is quite actually quite a large sheet. It's bigger than the, the chipboard, the mount board, sorry, is bigger than A5. So I'm just going to separate that out. But still, it's only one napkin, you know, for one project. I'm going to put that one there. You can see it's just building up all the layers like this. Now some of my projects when I'm doing tags and things, I don't tear them at all. Um, I just put the images on as they are. But for this one, I want some wee tone edges. I like the way it looks. And because I'm going to have one main, like main image in the centre, that's why I like it like this. Okay. So, we've got it like that. And then, at this point, I'm going to bring in my main image. Now, I'm working with this side on to you. Obviously, it's going to be um, a vertical wall hanging. I'm just working with it horizontal just now so that you can see it easier. This, I want to go right in the centre. Absolutely adore this image I think it's beautiful so I want to have that right in the center of my hanging now mm, the deer that I done last night I tore round about the napkin for the deer and just took out the main image but for this one I want to add the whole napkin okay so this point I'm going to bring in my Mod Podge and this one is the matte. I prefer the matte. Um, I don't own the shiny one. I keep looking at it every time I go out and I don't buy it because I keep, to justify it, I need to be able to use it. Do you know what I mean? Or it's not like it's a paper pad that can just lie there and it doesn't matter whether you use it or not because eventually it will go out of date and it will go off. So I think I'm only going to buy it when I really, really feel like I'm going to use it and like I'm going to need it. So I haven't bought it yet. No doubt one day I'll, I'll have a project that um, needs something shiny, a gloss over it. But as of yet, I don't have it. So I'm just adding, going over all the napkin now and any bits that are loose. You just lift it up and apply it quite liberally. You don't have to soak it, but apply it liberally underneath and on top because that way it sticks it down and it seals it. So I'll just flip this wee bit back. Now this bit is a wee bit time consuming, but it's worth doing it properly because at the end, when it's all stuck down and it's nice and flat, see. I'm saying nice and flat, but I like to have some texture in my napkins. So as much as I glue it down, I don't mind if it's crinkly. Some projects I do. Some projects, if I'm doing it and I want it flat, I'll take my time. Like tags and things. Um, or if I'm, sometimes if I'm using certain decoupage papers, I will take my time and put them down flat. But with other projects like this, I like to have some texture because it's going to be hanging on the wall. So... I'm just continuing all the way around 
I'm just flipping it up. I just use my brush to flip it up if it's just a small bit. And some things you don't even have to flip it up. You can just stick your glue underneath like that. And then just paint it on. That bit's looking pretty cool. I'll keep going. All the way over. Just flip this bit. In fact, that bit doesn't want to go back over, so I'm just going to push that down. That gives it more layered look, more textured look, and it actually looks quite cool. So now that I've got all that stuck down, I'm going over that half with the Mod Podge. And I really put quite a lot on because I like the way it dries. It gives it a stiffer finish. Brush it right to the edge because all these bits will get taken off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pause it. I'll keep going until all this top layer's down and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got all this stuck down and I've got all the Mod Podge over the top. So now I'm going to stick down my other napkin, my main image napkin. Now, um, I don't have to add any more on because this is still wet. And I just, I'm going to turn it away for you guys for a second because I want to see if I want this on straight or if I want it slightly at an angle. And I'm going to go with a slight angle here. And just press that down. Now, this part is the bit that I don't know if I do it different to other people, but this is the way that I do it. Um, this napkin, I want it to be as bright as possible. And because the filler napkin underneath has a pattern on it, I don't particularly want that showing through. Um, it will show through to a certain extent, but um, I don't want it to totally, totally show through. So all I do is take my Mod Podge and I only put it on the edges of this napkin. And this basically makes it look as if it's all one image and seals it in. Now, I'll show you a wee technique that I do in a second. I'll just go all the way around the edge, making sure it's flattened down and it's really stuck down. Okay, and then I take the lid of my Mod Podge and I lightly go over in circles the whole napkin and stick it to the Mod Podge, it's already underneath and that just makes it flat. But it doesn't add excess because if you put excess on, it dilutes it. It dilutes the image. Um, and for some reason it makes it all mergy. And so we've got it like that so far, which I think is looking really cool. So what I'm going to do, I'll just pop the lid on this and I'll take that because I'm going to wash it. I uh, This takes about half an hour to dry, maybe a bit less because it's quite warm in here. I'm going to pop down and have something to eat because I haven't had anything to eat again since this morning. So not as bad as yesterday, but since this morning, um, I'm going to pop down, have a quick bite to eat. I'm going to pause you guys and I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I'm back. So this is almost dry. It's not totally, totally dry. There's a couple of wee bits that you feel are just a wee bit, but it's almost there. So what I'm going to do is flip it over and just trim off any excess. around the sides just neatens it up a wee bit some people do it with a nail file and things um it depends i think what you're working on but with this i just find it just as quick and easy to run my scissors around like that and that's the side now I forgot to mention that when the Mod Podge is wet, you can add on some glitter um, if you want to. I didn't this time because I want this to be more of a sort of vintage, shabby chic kind of image. And this board is slightly thinner than the other stuff and it's slightly bored. So I'll just sort that out. Okay, so... I think it's looking really cool. What I'm going to do is just give it a wee bit of decoration. 
and the first thing I'm going to use is one of these beautiful flowers, gorgeous, this one and this one, put the match in the colours and then I've got some dupe flowers, so we'll pull out some different sizes and shapes of, oops, Sorry, I know a lot of folks don't like the crinkling, but it's a plastic packet, so it's going to crinkle. Right. Um, talking about things like that, things that I can't stand are when, like, you know, the feeling of cotton wool. I always remember when I was at school, there was a guy that used to bite the corner of his jumper, his sleeve of his jumper, and oh my god, it used to absolutely make my teeth cringe. Um, and I think that's what the crinkling of plastic does for some people. So I apologise for that wee crinkling there, guys. Right, so I've put down, I'm going to turn this around this way now so you can see what I'm doing this way. I've put down two of the jute flowers. Or the hessian flowers, what we call them, and I'm just putting this flower, and I add this all on the hot glue, so it's all nice and secure. And it's not going to go anywhere when I put it on the wall. And then I've got this one. These are beautiful, beautiful flowers. These were sent to me as part of my thousand subby challenge. I think it was Sue. Was it Sue? Sent me these. I think so. Um, well she brought them to me. So we've got that on that side. Let me hold that up to have a look. I think that's looking pretty cool. I'm going to turn it around and maybe add another wee one coming off. Yeah, let me see. Mm. Maybe add a wee one in here. Let me see. Sorry guys. Turn it around so you can see it there, and then I'll add another wee one just in here. Ow, the glue is burning. When I first started making that, that would have been screaming, ah! but you get used to it, even though it's still hot. Right, so let's turn that around and have a look at it. So we've got lovely flowers i will make i'll turn the camera up as well so once i'm done you can see it better and then along this edge i've pulled out some of the hessian ribbon i actually need to go to pound world and get some more of this i used that much of it this is my last one that i've got so i'll need to go back and get some more because i really really love it especially because it's got the ribbon through it i think it's so nice right so let me measure what am i going to do I don't want that right to the end, and I want it sticking out a bit of the canvas. So I'm cutting this at a slant. I always tend to do that when I'm doing um, journals or anything really. I'll always cut it at a slant. I just think it makes it look more organic rather than cutting it off straight. So I'm going to have that. I don't want to cover up the front of my car. So I'm going to have it like half off the bottom. So let's just put some hot glue down here and tack it, tack it on. Yeah, like that. So I know this was how to show you how to how I use my napkins, but I'll show you just be finishing decorating this wee wall hanging off. I think I might put this one in my bedroom actually, it's quite nice. Um, I usually, when I make wall hangers, I usually give them away and I never keep any. And I, I was thinking that yesterday, that's why I started making the wall hanging with the napkins because I wanted one. I gave my daughter the picture that I had downstairs in my hall for a new house because she loved it. So I gave her it. Um, as we do when their daughters and sons get our new houses, we need our own house and see what we can give them. So I gave her that. So um, I thought 
and what am I going to replace it with? And I was going to go and buy something, and I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to make something. So I've put that down there now, like that. And then I've got some of this beautiful red pom pom trim. And I'm going to just turn this around a second and see where I want it. So this is quite a, a really a mixed media um, canvas because it's got all different medias on it. Put that off there. And then I'm just going to run this all the way along here. Just tack it down. Kind of wait to get my new desk, guys. My tutorials will look a lot better because I'll have a lot more space. I'll be able to get a bigger tripod. I've had a bit of carry on with that actually. I did order one from Aliexpress last year and it didn't come and I ended up having to get my money back and ugh, it took months to sort out. But anyway, I did get my money back. So I'm just going to go and get one um, directly from the shop somewhere when I get my new desk. So that's the last wee bit. Tack that down there. That looks cool actually, I like that. And that is like, oops, they're sticking together. That one is like that. Why is that my line flat? There you go. That one is like that one. And I've put this like this because, two seconds, what did I do with that? I thought I'd brought it over, but probably not. Now you know how I work, and now you know why I'm so frustrated by this tattoo. That sounded a bit selfish there actually, I really do love my craft room, it's just, it's driving me crazy because everything's pulled out just now. Um, I've got a couple of wee flowers here, I'm just going to see, yep, here, these are gorgeous satin flowers, I'm going to pop this one here. I'm just going to let you see these, get well guys, that when you send me things, I always use them. This was sent to me a long time ago by Tony Raptor, way last year when I done my first ever friend mail swap with the lovely Tony, she sent me that. So I've added on, that looks weird in this picture, let me see in the thing, it actually looks, why is that sticking up? Hmm, I think it actually looks a wee bit weird in real life as well, I think I might add another, I didn't, because I'm doing it, filming it that way, it, it looked like it was sticking down all right, but let me see. It's a wee flower that Tammy sent me. No, because it's got the shells on it. Um, what about, oh they're nice actually, I forgot I had those, the acrylic one. I could stick that on there. Yeah, that's nice. I've got this lovely acrylic rose that came off of a... Uh, a bangle that I bought ages ago and dismantled it. I bought two of them actually. I can't remember, but I think it was in the Fort Glasgow. So I'll pop that one down there. That's looking pretty cool. So let me see. Does that look better? It does. It looks a lot better. And the hessian is coming off the back. So, right, let me have a quick peek and see if I'm if I like that. Um, I do. I think it needs one more thing here, so I'm going to add a wee jute flower there, and then, oops, in my drawer, I've got my trusty bling book, it was sent to me by the gorgeous Amy. Uh, who is Crafty Little Amy here on YouTube. She sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bling book. You can see Amy, I have been using it. I'm starting to 
to pleat it but when I do I'm going to fill it look if you saw this when I do I'm going to fill it back up because I absolutely love it it's got my name on it so oh that was my husband he just came in and said that was bollocks um he was watching the Anthony Joshua fight so I take it it wasn't very good <laughs> so there we go put that wee one there right I think I think I think I think I think as far as that goes I think that is all right and then I wonder if I should hang it up put a hanger on it with the bobbly at the top to match it in or some ribbon do you know what I think I'm going to use the bobble because I think it looks pretty cool actually so I'm going to turn it over and so I hope you've enjoyed crafting me with the night guys I just thought I would pop on and do this do a wee craft with you and uh, I'm going to sign it on the back and I'm going to date it which is, is this the 31st is it the 31st or the 1st or the no it's the 1st tomorrow but is it the 30th 30 30 days half September April May oh no it's the 30th is it well I don't know I'm going to date it the 30th anyway because I well that'll do 30th of the 3rd that's terrible imagine not knowing the date I know that tomorrow is the 1st but I can't remember 30 days half September April May aye so it's the 30th today so I've signed it and then I'm going to add on a wee bit of this trim so let's measure it out so we'll go for about there down to about here for a wee hanger I think that'll be pretty cool and we'll go there and then a wee bit of glue oops take that excess off because it's not too hot a wee bit of glue there and we'll have wee pom poms heading out the way. Slip it on there. Just push it, push the fabric into the glue. It gives it a nice secure hold in. And then roughly the same amount. Wait a minute. Let's make sure this isn't twisted. Because no me, stick it down and then it's be twisted. I'm actually quite pleased with myself that I remember to check it because I never do and then that one can go there so just making it it's the same sort of distance in from that side as what it is that side hot glue and okay okay and so I'm going to pause you pull you up and then I'll show you the finished board 